אוקיי, הלו, וולקאם באק. וולקאם באק, ביי אלה. אנייב. So last time we saw how to uh, use composite and create layers to manipulate and blend different images. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in this episode, we want to ask, uh, basically, we want to show how can we draw on a texture. Right. Okay. Because we here... showed color buffers before, mm -hmm. but how do we actively draw on a color, a color buffer? Yeah. Here we are loading two images, but instead of loading images, we want to generate those in real time. So, Good. for that, uh, we can, uh, you can take a look uh, on the guide to uh, something called render target mm -hmm. and their targets. Um, the so, the idea behind this is to create mm, an external canvas and draw on this canvas that contains a color buffer attached. Mm -hmm. okay? I Good. think in some environments they call it like off-screen buffers. Exactly, off-screen buffers, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can see here how this is constructed, mm -hmm. and it contains a color buffer. Already, that we have seen from previous episodes, this is at basically the container of a texture. It's a texture, it's yeah. how yeah. Open Render deals with the texture. Okay, super. Mm -hmm. So, let's make here... RT for render target. <laughs> so I have to give some automatic, this mm -hmm. shortcut for RTCB. Okay. Uh, width and height. Uh, I was doing a funny kind of import here. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's added this beginning, mm -hmm. but we don't need it. Render target. And call it RT. Ah, right. RT equals... Perfect. Okay. Uh, this and uh, import. So this we will create an off-screen um, canvas of size, the width, and height. Mm -hmm. Very convenient because if we change width and height, yeah. we have... In some cases, you, I will just mention it, uh, you want mm -hmm. a depth buffer. This is, the, for instance, when we want to use 3D or, or even or shapes. Yeah, if right? you're going to draw exactly. contours. And exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or but we can start. It will tell you if, it, if, it, if you need it, then it will complain. Yes, exactly. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so now suppose we want to draw a circle on this uh, off-screen uh, canvas. What right. do we do? Uh, so we can do... Drawer isolated with target mm -hmm. RT. Mm -hmm. uh, this means in this block, we are going to be drawing stuff into this uh, render target mm -hmm. and in this color buffer. Yeah. And then here, we can use our usual approach. Mm -hmm. You can mention this drawer. Mm -hmm. You don't need to. You though. don't need to because if you notice here, we are already in a drawer. Mm -hmm. So we could just say circle. Mm -hmm. and and do I have these? No. A drawer. Oh. Bounce center. <laughs> yeah. I like using So remember this. that dot bounce provides a rectangle that has the same uh, width and height of the screen, basically. And center provides a vector that is the center yeah. of the screen. Otherwise, we the classical approach mm -hmm. might be with maybe times 0 0.5 mm -hmm. and height times 0 0.5. This is... Exactly. Super. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so now let's fill these. Uh, let's color this circle pink, though. Pink. Yeah. Uh, fill is pink. And with no stroke, no uh, contour. I think I did. I have a. I have some shortcuts, but not here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stroke so is null. Is null. Super. Uh, um, okay, so now we s like w what we have done. We have created a circle inside on the buffer mm -hmm. attached to the render target. Yeah. So intuitively, we should be able to uh, draw as an image this target. Mm -hmm. OK, let's, let's do this. Um, I was thinking of <laughs> to replace this image here. Ah, and call it... Uh, because we have the render target. Yes. And then we can access to the, the color buffer mm -hmm. uh, zero. Why are there numbers? It's because... Uh, you can have multiple yeah, color buffers. A render target exactly. could have a bunch of textures inside. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this way, I uh, just wanted to make the minimum change to the program. Mm -hmm. So here, instead of loading an image from disk, exactly. then we are saying, instead, look at this color buffer we just painted on. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And okay, so now we should be able to see a circle somewhere at the center, mm -hmm. hopefully. 
Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's that's a nice cover of <laughs> like an album, moon. no? It's like a red moon. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But now we could also maybe try to do uh, something more, something like, suppose we want to... The, the point is that uh, similar, we have not showed yet how to copy mm -hmm. um, a data from a color buffer to the other. Uh -huh. So maybe we can use here... Uh, just to show them, we mm -hmm. could define the image one to be a color buffer uh -huh. and then copy the content of the color buffer attached to the render target to this image. Mm -hmm. Okay, so image is going to be a color buffer of width and height. And should it be use the size? Yeah, on the yeah. width and height. Yeah, width and height. Width and height. And then how do we copy now? The color buffer attached, the, the content of the color buffer attached to the render target to this. I think there's a copy exactly two. copy two image one exactly so now we should see exactly the yeah. same that we have seen before yeah if everything works yes yeah exactly yeah. sometimes it's useful to copy from one buffer to another exactly so the way most of the time I use this is when I want to save the previous frame mm -hmm. and I render on a target and I keep track of the previous frames when I want to do fadings mm. on or stuff like this. Yeah, I guess in also in these algorithms like uh, subtraction when you're using webcams mm -hmm. and you want to have mm -hmm. a fixed initial image. Yeah, exactly. And you can exactly. copy the, the webcam image into it. Yeah, but this copy to method is a very useful thing to, yeah. to I mean, mm -hmm. to just initial, initializes, initialize um, color buffers. Right. It's interesting that, well, we are here just drawing something on the render target one time, mm -hmm. but, but this could be also inside the a draw method. Exactly. So we could animate. Exactly. So let's do this. Mm -hmm. So let me see. Maybe in this draw, mm -hmm. uh, where do we move this? Um, the, do you want to move the, the isolated with target or only the content? <coughs> mm, so we are updating here the this color buffer inside the render target. So mm -hmm. where we want to update it maybe on every animation frame. So uh, yes, for example. But uh, then we have to keep the keep copying it to image one, no? Uh, right. We could also just get rid of the image one. And go directly with the uh, yeah. RT color buffer zero. Let's try to do this. This is now something I'm curious about because we have the composite inside the program loop. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's make it refer to the RT dot color buffer. Uh, uh, finishing here. Yeah. So it's animated. Super. Okay. So now there should be an error somewhere because we got rid of image one here. Yes. Let's put the color buffer attached to RT uh -huh. there. Here. Yeah. So. If we then pick the drawer dot isolated with target and we put it into the extend mm -hmm. part, we should see some animation. Let's see. Let's see. Because I would suspect that technically the buffer is attached via a pointer mm -hmm. and then it gets updated and something should happen. So here now we are updating in every frame our render target. Mm -hmm. The size should be wobbling. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so you see that so here something ha. beautiful happens. But look at one thing. We forgot to use to clear. clear. Exactly. So it's basically accumulating yeah. and uh, it's just a, a, cir a pink circle there. Yeah. Okay, let's put clear. Uh, clear. I think we can use transparent mm -hmm. to clear the whole render target as I use, yeah. transparent I usually color. use black or whatever. Depends on what you're doing. On what you're doing, exactly. But you see, so now something very interesting is happening. You see that the composite is defined only once mm -hmm. in the program mm -hmm. uh, uh, step. Yeah. But the point is that all the object is using are basically uh, ref referred to mm -hmm. via, uh, I would say, they they are not passed by value, one would yeah. say, but by reference. Mm -hmm. So by updating what's on the GPU there, mm -hmm. we are yeah. updating the whole machine, which is very pretty, actually. Yeah. I like it. All the draw blocks, they mm. keep getting <laughs> recalculated. Exactly. On, on and every... since we update the, art, the color buffer assigned to uh, the render target, mm -hmm. everything follows. Yeah. 
which I really like because, you know, conceptually separates the layer composition mm -hmm. that you do once yeah. and then the things that gets update mm -hmm. are correctly updated True. to the extend loop. Yeah. Nice. Very yeah. nice. Should we have a second one instead of this loaded image? Or uh, ah, yeah, we could we could generate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oops, not here. Okay, but now, do we need more render targets or not? Uh, um, <laughs> I guess what it's. I think in this case easier. we don't, right? It's, it's better not. We can have two. I normally would have two render targets, and then each okay, one draws into a different. All right, buffer. because normally I have uh, one render target, and I copy ah. in a sync on two different. Yeah. yeah. Let's try. Let's try with two. Uh, render target with height and color buffer. So now, again, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna get rid of this image too. And then we will use here rt2 mm -hmm. dot color buffer zero. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's ah well here also because we use this one twice. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and now it's going to be a bit boring because we are not drawing anything yet on exactly. this rt2. So mm -hmm. we can also those draw something there. I think we can copy the whole block, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I have a question. Mm -hmm. I've picked through the autocompletion and it has isolated with target and mm -hmm. isolated. What's mm -hmm. the difference? Mm -hmm. So isolated, yeah, that's, uh, I'll just draw it, make it here to know what we're talking about. Isolated. This is a ver very convenient method, mm -hmm. um, which you would in other frameworks you would type push and all right. Pop. So it's for the transformations, basically transformations, yeah. styles, styles, uh, anything that matrices that yeah, changes. Do, yeah, changes. So okay. if, if here I would use translate, for example, right to display the coordinate system. So it's isolated for that yeah. call at that time. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called isolated. Yeah. And isolated with target is that it's isolated, but it also has a target. Exactly. Okay. The same, but, 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 but also it's drawing not to yeah. the main buffer, yes, but, but to, this, to a specific uh, one. provided one. OK, super. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, so I, I want to draw something. RT2? The Sorry? second one has to be ah, right. yeah. RT2. RT2. And we want to draw something different here. Mm -hmm. Let's draw. Let's draw a rectangle. Yeah. And make it rotate. Okay. So, well, I'll just start by clearing. Okay. I will translate to the center of the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, drawer. Mm -hmm. Drawer bounds center. Mm -hmm. Then we and can then we rotate. rotate. Yeah. Uh, it's in degrees. Yes. So maybe seconds times. 10 yeah, to make I it a bit faster. <coughs> and then we can draw a rectangle. And At zero. Uh, right. Okay. But the tricky thing, well, we want it centered. From, from center. Right. So okay. I can create a rectangle exactly. from center. From center. And here I would tie vector to zero. So mm -hmm. it's on the center. And then and you need width and height. We need width and height. So I'll make it irregular so we can. Yeah, notice. Mm -hmm. uh, we should add it maybe some color. Uh, I don't know. Is it green too terrible? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll, we'll discover. <laughs> green, okay. Uh, that's something. Mm -hmm. well, we can try run this and see what happens. Mm -hmm. <coughs> nice. We have not cleared though, <laughs> yeah. right? Right. And I think it, it's interesting because it's drawing a black border. Yes. Uh, yes. But we are inverting the color, so it's, it's confusing. Yeah. But so let's yeah. first clear the A clear transparent. Mm -hmm. And yeah, now it doesn't leave those trails anymore. Mm -hmm. and we can see that this is basically the outcome of this subtract yeah. algorithm to mm -hmm. the. Okay, so in this episode, we have seen how to draw on uh, an off-cam, uh, say, an, an uh, external buffer. Mm -hmm. This I have to say is something that almost in every code I do. Yeah. I think nowadays there is no piece of code that <laughs> I write that doesn't have a render target. It's uh, very common. It's yeah. very, very, very common. And we have seen how this can be combined with Compositor. So mm -hmm. in the way we have built the, the code here, the compositor is defined once and for all. It gives the 
structure of the layers mm-hmm. and then things gets up, get updated automatically in the extend loop once we you know keep drawing remember to clear yeah. uh, in the in the extend mm-hmm. loop right Okay. So I think it's a good overview of render target and drawing. And drawing. So in the next episode, we will have some fun probably. With <laughs> yeah. Let's experiment. Let's with experiment all these a bit and uh, things we've yeah. been doing. So see you there. See you in the next one. Mm-hmm.